Hello and welcome to this video and to yet another trip away from me and Pete and today we are heading up to Edinburgh it's a first for me, Pete went when he was a child and uh, the fringe is on in some sort of hybrid-y in-person online way so we've booked a few shows and stuff like that to do the weather is grey and rainy as it has been for quite some time and it looks to continue while we're up in Scotland but excited, never been um, so yeah, let's start the journey The Harry Potter photo up and I'll add our photos in. Now. And now we're trying to go and find platform zero for our. It's around the corner, I told you. Um, yeah, we're going to go and try and platform zero for our train to Edinburgh. That way, then. But yeah, that Harry Potter photo art before the shop, that always has the biggest queue ever. And that is the shortest queue I've ever seen that. So, we took the opportunity while, while we had the time. Yeah, now, now to go and actually find this train. So, I will catch you when we're on there. it to Edinburgh and excuse my hair because I've been laying on the bed for what feels like several hours because we've been trying to book in our dinners for the week because we've had a bit of problem so when we went to Bath we wanted to go to the pump room but we couldn't because it needed to be booked and we also struggled a bit to find food on the Saturday night when we were there because everything had to be booked. If you haven't seen those videos, I'll link that playlist up here. Um, but also we went to book some stuff, some like activities like the castle and things like that the other day and that's all booked. So we went to look for dinner for tonight and the place we looked at was booked. So I thought instead of risking it, let's just find places we want now book them in for the week and then we don't need to worry about it. We are staying in the Premier Inn uh, York place. place. Everywhere's a place around here um, and it seems like the room is considerably bigger than other Premier Inns I have stayed in. For example I'm sat on a sofa bed and uh, the bed over there that Pete is taking up all of. Um, it's a large room is relatively large but you know Pete takes up all the room I mean this is not a big bed it's small bed <laughs> Jeff would take up more than this room he wouldn't you just have to contort around him so the the view this time because that's always fun is of this church which I'm assuming is still a church but I don't know and obviously the courtyard which looks like a keyboard. Uh, I'll whiz round because, you know, premier in, in rooms tend to be the same, but you know, you've seen the bed, you've seen the sofa bed. We've got reasonably sized TV on the wall and the desk in case we want to write some correspondence 
and the tea and coffee station is on the end. We have a full length mirror and I assume this is the wardrobe. No, no, it's like a through wardrobe with the coat hangers there. Another mirror with your hairdryer and this little ledge where you put your, your keys. Not that we have any because it's a hotel room and everything's done by card. And then bathroom. Um, full sized bath, decent looking shower, vanity. So there you go. We have found a restaurant that specialises in mashed potato, we believe which might take walk-in so we're gonna try that and see if we can get in if not we're going to end up in somewhere like franco menko or some sort of chain restaurant that is everywhere but fingers crossed that we get into the mashed potato place because as bodger and badger say everybody loves mashed potato that's a very niche reference isn't it let's go we are going to the MASH restaurant, we just have to lawyer for a bit. But Pete is just... Pete is just with Pete. Pete is out there, like. Looks like Jeff, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> this is where we are. And I am between two mashes, uh, two types of sausage two types of money and this is the view so I have gone for the beef or the coup and Pete has the ball sausage and man to add we have cheese and chai is this gonna work there you go Straight. the next day the last thing we showed you was the uh, the sausage and mash um, and then we didn't come back to you after that. We thought it was very tasty. We enjoyed it a lot. And we then had a brownie for pudding which was also very good. And then came back here and sort of just chilled because we're assuming the week is going to be quite busy. So we thought we'd take the opportunity to not do a lot although i haven't found this bed very comfortable so i am not in tip-top condition or anything like that but p seems fine other than the fact that i woke him up at three in the morning to moan basically um we've tried putting on the little wind muff things today so maybe that'll make a difference we'll find out maybe it won't do anything. Who knows? I think the plan is to wander to Leith this morning, which has been gentrified but was the sort of setting around train spotting and stuff like that. But I've been saying for weeks that I want to go and see the sea, and this is the closest thing we're going to get to go and see the sea. Um, and I think. I think the Royal Yacht Britannia is up there, so we'll have a look at that. We'll wander along the river and we'll probably have some brunch slash lunch because it's not the earliest yet, it's 10 o'clock now. So that's our morning plan and hopefully these little muffly things will work because I imagine by water's edge it will be quite windy. So I'm intrigued to find out for my own editing experience we shall see whether they did anything. I obviously won't be able to tell you whether they have made a difference until future videos come out when I can say they did work or they didn't. Adam bought these for me one Christmas because they were called Little Muffs and he found it very funny. So it's been a very rainy day so it's been a bit difficult to show you anything. We've had a wonder. Would I recommend Leaf as a place to just wander around? Probably not. I'm sure there are more exciting places in Edinburgh, but we're going to go and have a look at the yacht at some point. But we've stopped for lunch in the Ocean Terminal shopping centre at some cafe. Do you have a view though, but as I say, it's a bit rainy. 
And we've come to the Royal York Britannica. And on a whim, we came to the museum. It's raining outside, so. Yeah, it's a bit wet, and this is inside, although it will be outside when we get onto the boat. There's a cafe on the boat, actually. There is, you can have afternoon tea. Second time in two days, Pete's made me walk up these. So we're in a place for dogs for dinner. And I have done something out of character and ordered fish. I have salmon. And Pete has some chickeny thing. Bon appetit. Sticky toffee pudding. And Pete's already digging into his Sunday. It's been raining all day, so it's been very hard to actually film things. So I don't know what you know. <laughs> we did the whole boat thing, the yacht thingy, which you did see. And then we went on a Harry Potter walk. But everything was... Wet. Yeah, peeing down with rain, so couldn't really get the camera out to show anything. It was interesting. Spent a lot of time in the graveyard because she picked up a lot of names and stuff from there. We're now heading off to a Harry Potter themed bar just to continue the the theme. And I would like to say that we don't agree with what JK Rowling has said, but we want to separate the art from the artist. I think Harry Potter is in the, you know, fabric of British culture these days that you have to sort of separate the two. Plus, this bar is like potions and stuff, so it looks fun. Had a nice minute in the middle as well. Yeah, I filmed that one. Yeah. Yeah, I filmed bits from that. Yeah, you might see that then. Um, but yeah, the meal was good. Um, we inadvertently managed to get in for the early dinner deal, which. My salmon main was actually more expensive than the whole price of the two courses winning well, right like there. Go. Right, we need to go. Yeah, we need to put our wet shoes back on and head back out. And I will take you with me and hopefully show you some of this bar if I can. To the door. To the door! You're supposed to use some sort of spell, aren't you? But that's the old door. Like the old door. I don't know. You need some flu powder. Just show my nerd no, right there. Short, no, no, it's not flea powder because that's in the thing that you want to you want to evaporate. Well, the word is. Um, no, because you could use flu powder. Evaporate. evaporate. You could use flu powder. There's no chimney. We could find a chimney. But there isn't one. <laughs> we could make one. Anyway, I need to go and put my wet wet boots back on. So we have instructions. So these are mine, and then this is my concoction. That I'm going to be drinking out of a flower pot. Pete has a skull. 
So that side. Huh? That's the side. And the yellow. Venom. That's the best venom. Green dragon blood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're bad. Oh, you're bad. Strain at the vial of blood and brains. Discard the brains. What's the potion to do? Alright. Mm -hmm. the day, eating it all around it. Mm -hmm. well, it's always in my head. It's quite a lot. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 The left hand and the brown giants. Surely that's the brown one. Much taller. This is disgusting. Which is like all of them. I'm just going to tell you I mean, you're taking a very long time, and I've still got to mash up some raspberries. Oh, uh, spear the eye of the griffin and add the, the potion. What? <laughs> All right, so spear, spear this thing. Spear the eye. Ooh, it makes it go like two colours here. <laughs> Yeah, as soon as you hear about me, you can do it. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Final checks out. Oh, the eye is. Yeah. This looks like a pickled onion. Let's <laughs> stir in the dark lady's tears. All facing north. I'm doing now. Are you facing north? Sure. I'm doing history of Edinburgh and Holland. Oh, it's good. Two parts. It is the Dark Lord's potion I'm talking about. It is the Dark Lord. I mean, you are drinking the Dark Lord. Uh, with your right hand, crack open the skull and pour in the, fr the bone fragments. I mean, <laughs> take, that off. take the sip off. They, they cancelled the whole year. I'm okay, I'm okay. The day before. What's going in? I'm 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 Set. Yeah. I think that's the pink yeah. It's got to be the pink yeah. It's got to be the pink yeah. Oh, actually, can you see that? Oh, can you see that? I'm not going to dance around the table. What's that? That's the flower. Oh, I and dig the treats in the soil. Add to your plant pot. Where's your plant pot? Is that the plant pot? So I've got to add it to my plant pot. <laughs> it's just one carrot. Huh? It's just one carrot. Uh, make sure you taste the soil. Okay. Oh, which is up in the berries and vials. Oh. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.